All right, pork chop oven bake. I'm just going to uh, chop this up. I've um, cut up an onion and some garlic. A couple of cloves of garlic, onion. And then I'm just going to quickly run down that. Chop those up into fairly small pieces like that. And that they can go over there. Um, I've also got this is that's the red pepper of course and this is a whole apple which I've cut into bite-sized chunks and I'm just left it in some um, cider vinegar and water so that it doesn't go brown. I've also got this rather nice sweetheart cabbage which I will be cutting up and the way I do that is I simply quarter it lengthwise and then it's really easy to chop up. What I do is I flip that around, cut out the heart and then just put the knife through it a couple of times and then I just do that until it's all ready. What I've got here is two uh, loin pork chops. They're thick pieces of um, pork which I've actually cut off a larger joint, off a roasting joint. And what I've done is I've seasoned them with my favorite Italian seasoning. It's really, really good and it's super and it's all natural as well. Um, very nice, so Ariosto if you can find it. All right, so what I've done is I've filled up my baking tray with the shredded cabbage. And onto that goes my onions and garlic, which I'll spread out. Onto that goes my red pepper, which I'll spread out. I'll drain my apple. Apple and pork go really, really well together, as most of you already know. And very simply now, uh, my oven's heating up to 200 degrees Celsius, which is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm now going to dress this with a bit of oil and then place my pork chops on top and get it cooked. So a nice glug of olive oil. About four or five tablespoons. About four tablespoons really. Some so salt, kosher salt, or sea salt, or Himalayan salt, whichever you've got something good and you salt that to taste and again black pepper plenty of black pepper I love black pepper and on top of that goes my lovely pork chops they've been dusted in that Ariosto and they're just ready to lay on top of my veggies and they will cook away in about 25 to 30 minutes and then we'll have a finished dish. I'll probably serve that up with just some uh, French fries and uh, we'll be good to go. So you see it's all ready to go in now and um, I've put some French fries there for my brother. They're oven chips and they'll just cook in the oven alongside that uh, for a full meal. I'll just have it with the, the veg because I'm on keto. So let's get it in the oven as I said 400 degrees um, Fahrenheit 200 degrees Celsius for around about 25 to 30 minutes. Right, let's see how this turned out. Excellent. As you see, the pork chops have done a nice, nice bit of crispy around the fat, and uh, the vegetables are cooked really well, and the flavours will be nicely concentrated in these. Um, the reason I like to cook like this on a hot day is that everything happens in the oven. All the heat happens in the oven. I can take it out, shut the oven door and not get the house too hot on a warm day like today. So um, I'm just going to check my brother's oven crisp chips which are nice and these will be ready to serve.
If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.